Hey guys, uh, this is our second problem um, today. So we're going to discuss code for surround 595 division 3 problem D2, right? The harder version, right? As always, we, are, we will introduce this problem by explaining the example here, all right? So we copy the example here. And uh, we have the input here. So seven means there are seven segments here. The left is the start start point. The right number is the end point. So let's see what uh, does it look on the graph, right? So this is uh, the uh, x-axis. So we have a segment here, start from 11 and uh, at 11. So it's this segment, right? Basically, it's just the point. This point covers, this segment covers 11, right? Just one point. And uh, this segment start from 9 and end at 11. So it's this segment, right? There are two of them. One is here and another is here, right? So we have two segments here. It, uh, this segment covers three points. One, two, three. Three points, right? And so as the following segments. 7, 8 is here, right? Two of them. 7, 8 and 7, 8. So these are the segments. And uh, what's this number? This number means uh, for each point, uh, it may be covered by multiple segments. So we need to remove some of the segments out of the connection right then we can get a uh, uh, we can make sure that uh, for each point in the graph there are no more this number of segments covering it right for example for now the point seven is covered by three segments so we must remove one of the segments from the graph, right? If we remove this one, then this, this point will be covered by these two segments and uh, it, it is uh, less and or equal than two. So it's okay. But uh, what about this point, eight? Eight is still covered by three segments, so we st uh, we again we need to remove one of them. For example, we remove this one, so we make the graph uh, valid again. So what about uh, this point? Uh, initially, it's covered by three segments. Now, after removing one of them, we uh, only got. Uh, two segments covering it so it's okay but for this point it's uh, covered by three segments right so we need to once again remove one of them for example if we remove this guy then uh, this point is co covered by only two segments less and equal than two so it's okay now so the whole uh, graph is valid now, right? So uh, the minimum number of segments we need to remove from the graph is three. And the indexes of the three removed segments are four, six, seven, right? Uh, which one is four? One, two, three, four. This guy is removed, six and seven. Four, five, six, seven. These two guys are removed as well, right? So let's see 
let's find the, uh, these three guys start from 8 this guy right and the 9 and the 11 so this guy uh, 7 and 9 this guy so after remove uh, three segments from the graph we can make sure that for each point in the graph uh, it only has um, at the most uh, two segments covering it right so it might be um, several answers there so you can just start to put any of them right so how do we solve this problem so we solve this problem by using a new algorithm called scan line right what is scan line so basically we have a line here and uh, we move this line to its left and uh, uh, during the move we may encounter some points some segments here right for example when when this line is at uh, point 7 this line come across three segments so we need to deal with uh, each of them right so in this case we push Three, the three segments into our um, binary search um, tree right we push them into our binary search tree and uh, the um, key value of the binary search tree is the ending point of each of the segments right uh, I will show you why we need to make the end point as the key of the binary search tree right so as we know we got three uh, our line is set uh, point seven and at this point we have three segments covering this point right so we need to remove one of them so which one are we going to remove we use greedy here right we use greedy algorithm here so we choose the best op option for us which one is the best option obviously it's this one because the ending point of this segment is uh, biggest right because potentially there is going to be a point here co covered by uh, some other segments and also covered by this one right but uh, uh, we are um, the line is at a point seven so we can make sure that uh, if a point is covered by uh, this three uh, this this two lines it will be covered by this line but if a point is covered by this long line it doesn't necessarily covered by this line so the best option for us is to remove the longest one right so that's why we need to uh, keep the binary search tree here so we can easily get a long uh, the longest uh, line from the um, tree and remove it right it uh, actually it doesn't have to be the longest as long as its ending point is the biggest we remove it right these two lines might might be very long let's say this is the segment uh, here right but its ending point is lesser than this segment's ending point so we still remove this guy right okay now uh, we remove this guy right so uh, we keep moving the scan line here 
Uh, so the next uh, place we need to stop the uh, scan line is here because there is a point here, right? And uh, it's uh, point eight, right? So we got two, at this point we get uh, two ending point here, right? And uh, um, before that we got uh, three segments covering the um, point eight, right? So we need to remove one of them. Also, as we did before, we uh, remove the uh, segments that has the biggest ending point, which is this one, right? So we got uh, three ending points, and uh, this guy is the biggest. So we remove this segment, right? And now after removing it, we got two segments covering the uh, point eight. So that's good. So we keep these two. And uh, uh, we notice that uh, these two are ending points. So we, uh, before we move the scan line again, we need to remove these two uh, segments from the BST binary search tree, right? So right now, there is nothing in the BST, right? And uh, this guy, these two guys are removed, right? And uh, we keep moving the scan line here at uh, point 9, right? So this segment is already removed, so we got um, two segments covering the uh, point 9 and uh, we push these two segments into the binary search tree and uh, got two uh, new endpoints and then uh, we can be sure that uh, uh, there is uh, there are only two segments so uh, it's okay to keep moving right so we keep moving the scan line and uh, the next uh, place uh, we stop the scan line is here so at the point 11 right so at this point we know that uh, three segments are covering point 11 so we need to remove one of them and uh, these three um, segments ending at the same place so we can remove any of them so for example if we choose this one right then we got only two segments covering th this point so for each point in the graph uh, there are at most uh, two segments covering it so uh, we uh, get a valid answer here so we are done right so I guess that's it for the description of the algorithm so let's read the code right let's remove everything and show the code so first we got a we got an array to keep track of the segments that has been removed right and uh, we read the number of uh, segments and the maximum number of uh, co uh, covering, right? And uh, we read all of the segments, starting point and ending point, and uh, we sort it mm, one second. So we push. Uh, push them, push the uh, starting point and the ending point into a array, right? And eventually we will sort that array. So this array is uh, uh, making uh, uh, making uh, our life easier to find where uh, what's the next stop point of the uh, scan line when we move the scan line to the right. Right, and uh, we iterate 
uh, this this is the part where where we uh, move our scan line, right? And uh, um, this one. Um, DIS. Let me recall what it, what does the DIS mean. Um, the first. Oh, it's a distance to the zero point. Basically, it's the um, position of the point, right? If it's the starting point, then its position uh, is T zero. It's a starting point, right? So DIS is the position of the point, and the type means if the type equals to zero, then it's a starting point, and the type is one means it's the ending point, and uh, IND is the index of that segment, right? So it's the index of that segment. So if it is a starting point, we uh, push that segment into the uh, binary search tree. Current is the binary search tree. And uh, the key is the ending point, the position of the ending point, right? And uh, we also keep track of the ending point's index, right? And uh, if the number of uh, items in the binary search tree are bigger than M, it means we got uh, more than M segments covering the current uh, point. So we need to remove one of them, right? Uh, here, here is uh, how we remove the uh, segment. And then after we re removing it, we uh, push it, push it into our answer array, right? We got an answer uh, array to keep track of the uh, of all the segments that we have removed, right? And we mark it. So we need to be sure that uh, these segments is removed from our graph. So in the future, if we encounter the ending point of that segment, we don't do anything, right? Uh, it's here. So if the uh, if the segment has been removed, so then we let's see. If it is uh, already removed, we just continue, right? If it is not removed, we need to remove the, it from our uh, binary search tree, right? And in the end, we print out how many uh, segments we need to remove and print out the index, index of each of them, right? So I guess that's it. Thank you for watching.